ETI Paranormal Camera. The iPhone attachment allows for easy access into the paranormal world, granting you the ability to see paranormal activity or any trace plasma of said activity. No way. Can you see that? Yeah. Those are footsteps. We should follow them. We're going down this way. The closet? Wait, that's, that's. <laughs> the filing cabinet. The what? filing cabinet that was in the, the storage, storage unit. unit that we never looked at? That's in there. We busted these locks before. Just files? Okay. Bro. One of them's cold. Holy cow, holy cow. It's Which that one. Which one is it? It's that one right there. Should I touch it? Yeah, pick right. it up. Which one? Does this it one. feel does cold? It yeah, pick it up. It looks, it looks like all the other ones. Ronald Burns? It does, yeah, it feels a little cold. It definitely feels cold. Ronald, what does that say? I think it's his Burns. It's cool. Ronald Bergs? Bergs. Yeah, it's for sure cold. This is super strange. <laughs> Am I supposed to know who Ronald Bergs is? I Have we heard of Ronald Bergs? Does it, it hasn't shown up in any previous pa Okay. Yeah. Ronald Bergs, place of birth, Phoenix, Arizona, 62 date of birth, height 5'9, 168, circuit design engineer, contact info 911. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, that's why it's. <laughs> Maybe that means this person didn't have anyone. Oh, that's sad. I mean, yeah. That's really sad. So this file we found in this filing cabinet. And that filing cabinet we found in there, and we were led to this by paranormal footsteps, but this thing we got out of the storage unit, the storage which, was unit which was Wesley's, which was the co-owner of Syntec. Yeah. Just trying to make sure I'm putting all these pieces <laughs> yeah, together. But doesn't, Wesley, full circle. doesn't Wesley have a file in here? Like, is there a Nelson Sykes file? No. Because that leads me to believe that like, Not th employees. these are like employee files. Yeah, that he know. wrote? I mean, do you have files on all of us? Yeah, I mean, really. what is for documentation, yeah, do you right? Have I have multiple sets of files on but all of you. Do you have a file yeah. on yourself? <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I don't keep track of those files. That's not my job. So it yeah, might be my job, <laughs> but I don't do it. <laughs> he takes steroids, supplements, antihistamines, topical antiseptics. Do we think that the ghost is this person? Why it else was, would we be led it to was, it? Like, I don't know. Quite literally touched by the ghost, I suppose. Right. Okay, let's, Wait, let's, let's keep this. Can you put this? All right, guys, let me set you down here. Guess what happened? You can't see me. Don't worry about that. Focus, dude. John Doe, email me back. If you're not familiar, I'm gonna bring it to speed right now. We found a body outline, legit under our floorboards. And John Doe, who is an undercover officer, this is what I sent to him ages ago, it feels like. He said, I think we should chat. Are you available right now? I'll make myself available right now because this is all too real and serious. Let's see if anyone else is available right now. No, oh gosh, you scared me. Hey. Hi. Guess what? <laughs> what? John Doe. <laughs> John Doe responded. Oh, he was. I, I just heard John Doe. I don't know why. He responded? Yeah, he responded. What did he say? He said you, he wants to chat. Can you chat right now? <laughs> I can. I know Woods wants your help yeah, or something, I but you can just come back. Yeah, wait, I'll be right back. Wait. What? Your guys' hair is totally different. Yeah, I know. We both decided to go for a change, <laughs> and now I'm so ready for all the comments to be like, they are sisters. Can we get a sister shot? No, it's like if we're like sisters, I don't, I don't have like... a sister, so I don't know what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> there, you go, there you go. There you go. Sister. Guys. All right, guys, now go do your job. Anyways, okay. Well, I mean, anyway, did you want me to? Yeah, look no, I'm at this just email? messing. I'm just messing. Bailey, do you actually have to go somewhere really quick? Oh, I think actually Woods is on his way back, so we might all be here right now. Look okay, at that cool. Divine timing. John Doe emailed us back. Yes. You want to chat with him? All right, so I pulled up his emails. Wait, you know what? I have a chat with him. This is an old <laughs> chat. How's he doing? <laughs> I'm not sure I really want to waste time asking him that. No offense, but maybe I'm, I don't know. Selfish? He definitely made it sound like there's like something pressing yeah. that he wants to talk about. Which I don't know why I made that a question yeah. mark too. What did you say? We've been waiting for you to answer back. Oh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> I feel really more, way more desperate now. <laughs> it's all right though, it's okay. It's okay, I'll, play, I'll play it off. It's okay, you're not trying to like make him your girlfriend or anything. <laughs> I have a girlfriend. Maybe, maybe he's not on, oh wait. Oh. There he is, typing. Oh, typing. Come on, broski. Come on, broski, yeah. give me something. A lot has been going on. I haven't had a chance to look into the picture you sent. Ex what? Especially with the drop off you made. What? So he responded, but he didn't even look at the photo? Well, that must mean this is about something else. Okay, then. so what is it about then? But what about, <laughs> I'm sure he looked what, what at about... it. He probably just doesn't know what to 
Maybe it's just make of it? irrelevant. What does he mean drop off? What drop off did we make? When we like gave him. He's still going through that evidence. Like what, what evidence? All the evidence? No, he we we, he gave back. He gave back the evidence. You mean Ben? <laughs> the drop off. That's a little poor Ben. No, poor Ben. Okay, well, I mean, no. like, the, the fact yeah, that he said the drop off. Poor ben. Because he said the drop off that you made. Like, oh, like kind of when B27 was, him. like, in the U Haul? Uh, yeah. Is like, he a human, though? Let's be real. I mean, partially, I'm sure. That is correct. Oh, okay. Okay. Has he been difficult? Yeah, it sounds like he's had his hands full. I mean, I can't imagine he's like a ray of sunshine in jail. Yeah, you know what I mean? True. So, I mean, he doesn't have access to serum anymore, right? So true. Withering away. He's probably having crazy withdrawals. He yeah, doesn't have really access to serum anymore. Why did I not think of that? That's actually what I wanted to discuss with you. Benjamin has no intention of talking with us. I'm not surprised. But there's only so long that we can keep him here, and the patience of our officers interrogating him is thinner than my own. So what? He's not our problem anymore, right? I mean, it I've... sounds like he's going to ask you to... I've given you everything I have on him. Like, yeah. Yeah. This, this isn't our job anymore, you know right? I, mean? I don't know much more. Also, he was like, he talked to you. Did you let him know any of that? Like, what your conversations uh, were? I mean, that's on the internet for everyone to see. Yeah, I feel like it's all public information at this point. You wouldn't point. be a great detective if you weren't watching all the videos. True. <laughs> What's up, FBI? <laughs> <laughs> what else can we possibly do? They can't just let him go. No, they're not gonna right? let him yeah. go. Well, well if they don't have- Well, he made a comment about, like, we can't hold him here forever. Yeah. yeah, but like we dropped him off with like his property, and his property was a literal bomb. Well, that's yeah. not necessarily. What did he say? I actually had a different workaround for this. I want you to come and speak with him. Yeah. What? You're not Clarice. This is not Silence of the Lambs. What's like, Clarice? Have yeah, you seen that's... Silence of the Lambs? Why would we go? Because you were the only one he talked to. But like, it, like we, we put thing. this away, didn't we? Yeah, like... but to be fair, we are the only connection to to the real world that Ben has. You know, sometimes they bring in like family members to try and get yeah. people to confess. Yeah, I guess that's true. Do you think he's even going to talk to us? We were the ones to bring him in. That, that's yeah, terrible. right. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Why would he want to talk to us? Something tells me we're not gonna be super buddy-buddy with him after putting him in jail. Uh. That's true, but I think he will regardless. Call it a gut feeling. Why is that? Because he asked for you. Personally. That's scary. I would not trust that. I mean, are you comfortable with that, Matt? I'd, I'd say I'm comfortable with it because he's behind bars now, and yeah. I did it when he wasn't behind bars. Right, and that, there'll, that's be, true. there'll be guards around and stuff, I'm sure. It's not just going to be you and him. You think the picture I sent has anything to do with this? I kind of want to know. I kind of want to well, know how these things are all together and why this isn't ending, even though he's behind bars. Mm -hmm. They have to be connected. We can discuss that later, I promise. <laughs> Getting you an hour with him was a near impossible task, so we would need to move quickly. Why is it always... It's always intense. Why is it an impossible task? Probably because I'm not an, an actual investigator. Well, yeah, I mean that. <laughs> where, where are we supposed to go? I mean, like, I'm available. Do you guys have anything that you can't push back till tomorrow? I mean, I can, I can move stuff around. I'm free. <laughs> Why do I believe that? I've never been yeah. to jail before. Neither have I. I was just gonna say the same thing. I wonder if they like well, leave his mask on. True. Like, well, yeah. Does he have his mask? Yeah. Well, Can he survive? Does he need I was it? gonna you know, say like, if it's like for medical purposes, they probably do leave it on. But yeah. or is he just withdrawing like crazy? <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, he's probably gonna try and get serum from you, man. Oh, yeah. maybe. I think we have a little- I'm not gonna bring him serum. <laughs> no, we got, I doubt we'd be able to bring that into jail. We could no, put it in a cake. The, <laughs> put it in a cake? All of a sudden we're on this guy's side. Yeah. I'll email you the address and time to meet. It will be safe. So I don't want you to feel concerned, but unfortunately, it can only be you. Yeah, I still think we should all go like with you, but that doesn't surprise me that- No deal. No deal. No deal. What do you mean? Well, what, what do I have to gain from this? Okay, how about this? My audience goes where I go. Oh yeah, maybe we can at least film the conversation. Bingo. Like, if not all four of us can be in there. Then I doubt he'll talk. But he asked for me personally. He's talked on camera with us before. True. I think he will. Yeah, I feel like he almost likes an audience in a weird way. Mm. And why is that? Call it a gut feeling. 
Come on, dude. Just agree. You can do it, bud. You can do it. Very well. I'll forward you the details now. All right. All right. Cool. Well, I mean, like, you guys can go there with me, but yeah. I guess I'm the only one going in. Well, in camera, Sam. Are yeah. You comfortable? If we want to bring camera in, I can. I can do that. See you there. Actually, will I see him there? So I guess we wait for him to send us the address. In the meantime, we should figure out how to prep ourselves. Yeah. Let's do it. What are we trying, what answers? What answers do we want out of this? Like, what are we trying to gain out of this whole thing, right? Like, What's going on well, in our studio? I mean, Ben might know about if another death occurred in that building. I feel like the obvious question is, what's up with the writing? What's up with the murder? What does John Doe want to know? I imagine they need something to indict him, right? I assume they're gonna be recording via their security system. Yeah. So whatever he ends up revealing to me, that they're going to be able to incriminate him. Yeah, I right? mean, they just need a reason to hold him longer or- Maybe we should try and do that because if we don't do that, he might be let go, yeah, released. I if they That's can't true. find any reason to hold him. I don't, what I, I'm not a professional do we ask him about? Well, yeah, I mean, they don't, they know you're not. <laughs> They're gonna give you stuff to, to interrogate him with. Why would they give me their questions if those questions haven't worked? I think Why would we, they bring in a random civilian just to like because hang of out with them? the connection. No, I know, but they're gonna, I doubt they're just gonna be like, oh, hey, all right, he's in there. I really I do think, think they're gonna have questions for you. Maybe. But I think we also have an agenda as well. What if we ask subject four, what if we ask them what to ask B27? Mm -hmm. Maybe there's deeper connections that they can see that we can't. Yeah, worth a shot. Okay. Um, back to Megadesk then? <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Let's go. Okay. okay, so I'm gonna make it pretty simple here. Yo! <laughs> we might have a chance to visit been in prison. If we can, what would you want us to ask him? All right, let's do that. Okay, uh, let's just refresh a bit for a minute or so and I'll get back to you. 25 minutes later, sat back down, clicks refresh. I'd ask him if he knew Deb murdered Wes. That might open him up to more answers. Hmm. I'd also ask him about the fire and other stuff that happened in Syntec. I don't know how much time I'm going to have with him. Well, yeah. didn't he say an hour? Did he? Yeah, he did I'm, say an hour. He said an hour. I, I think, have no idea. I've never done this before. I think he has to know that Deb murdered Wes because yeah. he would have had to watch the tape to give it to you. Yeah, he 100% he yeah. knows because I think that's why he gave us the tape. Yes. Because he, he mm. just needed to clear his own name because we yeah. were accusing him. Ask him, how old are you? We have documentation. Oh, yeah, to true. Like... Oh, yeah, we do have a file on Benjamin mm -hmm. that has his age. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What was his age? I don't like 38. He's 38? 33, or at the time the file said 33, so he's gotta be like in his 40s now. Did it say that? Wow. Yeah, Ask like, him how the serum would yeah. be injected into subjects and what their goal was by doing it. That's a good question. Yeah. yeah. Ask him how much power Nelson Cyphus still has. Like, is he still giving orders to all the phantoms himself, or is someone else in his place? And also ask him how he knows anything about the fire incident. Ask him about the purpose of the bomb, what the spire is, and who could be haunting location number one. Ask him if there are any sightings of paranormal activity that he's ever seen. Mm -hmm. He might be able to confirm who is haunting you guys. Ask him whether there are other phantoms. Ask him about Nelson and his whereabouts and plans. Bring up D3B again, see if that triggers something. Yeah. I just thought of something. What if we ask him who the guy on the folder is? Ronald? Maybe he yeah. yeah. I'm gonna grab some index cards. Matt's into index cards right now. So, I should have grabbed a pen. So we I, we have a bunch of questions about, I'm not yeah. gonna be able to get to all of these, but I'm gonna write down some, some really critical questions here. Who's, Who's Ronald, Ronald Burks? Who's Ronald, yeah. What are his motives? Am I gonna pull out these index cards in the middle of talking to this lunatic? <laughs> ask him more about Cyphus. Oh yeah, how much power does Cyphus have? You should ask what the spire is, yeah. How the prison food tastes. <laughs> oh my gosh. What he truly thinks about Dev. More writing on the walls. Mind control. Mind control. Mind control, that's interesting. If killing Wes was actually an accident, I would ask him more about the history of Syntec. What if, the reason why he was talking to himself is because it's a part of him that's under mind control and then a part of him that is not under mind control. So he's like fighting himself. How would that work? Like maybe he can snap out of it sometimes. And so like the part of him that still isn't under the mind control can still talk to him. I would go with serum deteriorating his brain. <laughs> 
<laughs> but do you know anything about the red paint on the walls and what was Dev's favorite color? <laughs> oh my gosh. Luckily I got a phone so I can pull up these if I need them on the way. Mm -hmm. But I've got a long list of questions here that I'll be using. So thank you very much guys. If we use your question, I'll I'll try to remember to pop it up on screen. I won't, Quinn will. Thank you, Quinn. Love you. Okay, so John Doe just sent me the address. You guys wanna head out? Should Woods and I come with you guys? Yeah, we're not gonna use this to be. That's fine, you guys okay, stay we'll back. Stay here. When we come back, we'll bring it up to speed because we'll, supposedly, they're going to let us film it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if right. they let us film it, we can just show you the footage. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. Yeah, no. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sounds good to me. Okay, Sam, you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> I'm just gonna let you lead this one. I don't know. Okay. What am I supposed to say? We're on our way, I guess. Are you not nervous? I feel like I'm a nervous wreck. Oh, I'm super nervous. That's why I was like, oh, I didn't, I was like lost in my head when you started pulling out the camera. Yeah. I just, I don't, I feel like I can confidently say neither of us have ever done anything like this. Oh, of course, like yeah. This. What the heck? I've technically talked to him before and mm -hmm. technically you could say that was interrogation or I don't know if I was being interrogated. <laughs> He's talked to you before and some of the stuff he was saying to you was pretty like, like he really wants there to be some sort of connection there. You're think about me he's think about all for the, a friend? Think about all the stuff that he said to you in these conversations. Like, it felt like he was just condemning me. But, I don't know, whatever. but clearly he wants to talk to you. All right, well. Okay, well, uh, we're here. This looks so scary. You ever been to a maximum security prison? No. These chocolates. Oh my gosh. That's super intense. What is this place? I don't know, restricted areas though. You see those signs? <laughs> you have your note card. Hey, my note card's here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You ready? Yeah. See the barbed wire and all the... Yeah, the no, this it. looks like, I feel like we shouldn't be here and I like, know, right? we're just normal people. Versus what? A normal people? Not normal? Abnormal? Well, I don't know, but like, I feel like this is a place that like, only like, really intense investigators and like, either you're going to jail or you're going, I guess we are going to talk to people. Let's go through here, right here. I don't, I don't want to walk in filming, right? Yes. Uh, yeah, let's turn up the camera for a second. Told him you wouldn't mind. See, look at that. He's a natural. So. confused now man you were the one that wanted to talk to me I came all the way down here and now you're just not even talking at all it's a nice tattoo man super scary what's that like uh, you do that yourself or something or okay how about this We do a soft start, huh? Easy into human contact with some questions from them. You cool with that? He's cool with it. Yeah. What is the absolute? I don't think he's gonna play ball. Do you have anyone you care about on the outside? Anyone you're? You know, they said, coming in here, they told me that uh, you didn't use your only call. She couldn't answer if she wanted to. Who? Deb? You know, she's a murderer, right? YouTuber. Okay, how about we switch?
switch gears here. Uh, who are you working for? Are you under the influence of the serum? So you're telling me you don't work for anyone and you're not under the influence of serum. Okay, so well, it looks like it's a pretty cut and dry case, right? Got the guy red-handed, he's behind bars. Why am I even here? You know, the last person that said that to me turned out to be a manipulative murderer. So forgive me if I don't trust you. I don't care if you trust me. You can see it just like I can. The writing on the wall. How do you know about that? Where did it happen? It was years ago. I was the only one working in that space. This was in what you and your minions call your beloved red days. But when all was said and done, the walls were completely red. That's when I started to believe them. What they were saying about me. What did they say? They said I was crazy. Of course, but I was seeing things. They told me to do things, things that didn't make sense. That didn't seem right. Who did? Heard who, Ben? The voices. <laughs> You've lost your mind. Your mind has deteriorated from that serum. Oh, I thought so too. But now we know that it hasn't because you see them too. What are they telling you? When I rented out those units, there was nothing on those walls. Of course not. Would you have rented it if there was? Who did? Who painted over it? The vandals, I suspect. After all, one thing is bad for business. So you're saying the unit is haunted? No, I'm saying the entire building is haunted. By what? Everything. Do you have any idea how many people have died in that building? It's too many to count. I'm sure you saw to that personally. I thought you said you were working alone. I said I wasn't working for someone, nor am I being controlled. Careful, Ben. What you say can and will be used against you. What are you afraid of? Are you afraid of me? I'm not afraid. 
afraid of you. I'm afraid for you. I will take care of you. You'd be surprised what space can do to clear your head. Don't tell me you're surprised. You didn't think I'd belong to you forever, did you? We're done here. He had red eyes. I can't believe that he's a person. That's so strange. Also, that he heard voices. He said that we would hear them soon as well. Make sure to check out our new merch designs, available now for a limited time. Check them out using the link in the description below. And if you missed last time, you can watch it right here. Here's what happened. Access into the paranormal world, granting you the ability to see paranormal activity or any trace plasma of said activity. If you want a deeper dive into this world, check out Project 863 Plus, where you get extra vlogs, podcasts, and a private Discord. Thanks for watching.